Good morning and welcome to CAM Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. When each day a member of the CAM family shares a work from our permanent collection and poses a few questions for discussion. We hope you'll check back each day at 10 a.m. for a new look and a new chat. Hi, my name's Emily and I'm the Director of Learning and Interpretation at the museum. Today's CAM Look is about remembrance and commemoration. 20 years ago on a sunny and bright Tuesday morning, the world changed forever. September 11, 2001 will be a day many of us will remember vividly. We will remember where we were, what we were doing, and how we were feeling. That was the day we lost 2,977 souls in an atrocious act of terrorism. Shortly after the attacks on 9-11, the museum acquired three editorial cartoons that were created on or around the day of the attack. They are by two Cincinnati artists, Jim Borgman and Jeff Stoller. I share these today because they are artistic and emotional responses to the events of the day. Created in the moment, they show the way that art not only captures a moment in time, but also the deep emotion of that moment. The first image, titled America Weeps, is by longtime Cincinnati Enquirer artist Jim Borgman. In the landscape-oriented black-and-white illustration, Borgman centers an image of the Statue of Liberty, head bowed into her hands, eyes covered, weeping. Her torch lays along the bottom of the image, extinguished. Smoke rises from its end to encompass the scene. The smoke surrounds Lady Liberty, so only a small portion of the New York City skyline is visible in the upper right of the image. This cartoon ran in the September 11, 2001 edition of the Cincinnati Enquirer under the headline, quote, Find Them and Retaliate, end quote. The second work, Terrorist Attack, is by Cincinnati and Kentucky Post cartoonist Jeff Stoller. It is also a landscape-oriented drawing. In it, Stoller captures a man sitting forward in an armchair, right elbow resting on his knee and left hand raised to cover his eyes. The man has longer, wispy hair and a beard that covers only his chin. He wears a dark jacket and what appears to be striped pants. Some may interpret him to be Uncle Sam. He is watching a TV, which takes up the right side of the drawing. A word bubble comes out of the TV. In it are the words, September 11, 2001, a day which will live in infamy. This, of course, is a reference to President Franklin Delano Roosevelt's famous words spoken after the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 8, 1941, thus, thus ushering the United States into World War II. This work appeared in the Kentucky Post on September 12, 2001. The final work I wanted to share is also by Jim Borgman, and it is a simple reminder that we will endure. Running in the March 13, 2002 edition of the Cincinnati Enquirer, the image captures the southern tip of Manhattan Island surrounded by a sea of black ink. The skyline is small. Out of it, two thick white lines representing the World Trade Center's twin towers emerge like shafts of light. The words, we will endure, are written across the top of the drawing with the double L's of the word will created by the towers of light. I chose to share this work last because it eloquently speaks to the feelings many of us had in the days, weeks, months, and years following the attacks. We will endure. In closing, we hope September 11th, 2021 is a day of service, remembrance, and reflection. Collectively, we hope we can all come together and spend several moments thinking about those we lost and about those who lost loved ones. They will take many moments to thank the brave men and women of the emergency services who ran in and saved so many lives that day. We'll also take some time to share our stories with the younger generations so this tragic day is always remembered. Thanks and have a good day.